It's Tuesday, February 7th. You're experiencing the Crave Podcast. I'm Donald Bell. I'm Eric Franklin. I'm ready for the experience. <laughs> it's just getting warmed up. I'm already crying, though, from our, our pre-show spandex conversation. Um, Bonnie yeah, Chaw is sadness. not with us today. She's no. she's blogging from home, but uh, she's with us. Bear she's with in us. our hearts. Come on, bear with us. We'll get through this together, all yes, of us. All of us together. So say we all. What she might be uh, playing around with right now, from the comfort of her home, is the cryoscope. She might be. This is a I doubt it. A weather forecasting device that uses haptic technology to translate tomorrow's forecast into a temperature that you can reach out and feel with your hand on this aluminum cube. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah. I can see where this could be useful. You know? It's like, how hot exactly is it going to be tomorrow? Like, 70 degrees means nothing to me. Right. Or... I don't know of, what that means. Yeah. I have no frame of reference. I've never even been in 70 degree weather. Numbers hurt my brain. Yes. How, just let me feel it up. Yeah. I want to feel things up. I don't like thinking about numbers. Right. Is what I'm saying here. Uh, so, so you touch that thing? Is yeah. It? Okay. So manicured fingernails. Right. And uh, it gives you a sense of what the temperature is going to be like. And it, of course, you know, like any good project that we talk about on Crave, it's uh, ultimately powered by an Arduino interface. Of course. Because you like saying the word uh, Arduino. Arduino. Yep. Arduino. That's my Arduino board. Yep. It's special. Um, so it can get hot or cold. It also has a little LED light on the bottom to indicate either through like red or blue if it's going to be cold or Yeah. Hot. So you know you have to touch it. You just kind of look at the glow underneath. So when it's 100 degrees out there, so is that piece of metal <laughs> getting up to 100 degrees? Is that what's – can you cook an egg on that? Oh, well, they're, they're freezing some ice or freezing some water, All right. rather. All right. All right. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, think in the event of Armageddon, it could probably singe your fingers off, right? So – so when tomorrow comes, you know what to wear. Right. Basically, you don't have to go outside or use any kind of judgment. Based two, re on two reasons. Two reasons. Like two reasons I like this. One <clears throat> is that it uh, it's another way to kind of tra beyond the the screen or a number. It's a way to translate outside information into something in the home that you can kind of interact with. Right? Okay. All right. Second Fair reason enough. is it's another one of these little tiny dedicated cube-like devices that we would have now a row of in our home, like the little Molly right. gumball spitting device. The little printer thing. The little printer thing, and now this thing. Right. All translating the world's information into our homes through these adorable little cubes. Yeah. The future is in cubes. Should I invest in cubes is what you're saying? Cubes and, and Arduino. Arduino? Technology. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Yeah, that's the secret of Donald's success. Yep. Cubes and Arduinos. So like check it out. It's it's a it's a concept right now, but it's still sure. pretty interesting. Another one, another kind of uh, not cube. This is a pig shaped thing. It's is a this cow. also it's a something cow bunny. Bonnie's probably playing with at home right now? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> She's lucky. Um, Kissinger. All right. Uh, we've talked about trans global. Kiss devices before. Uh, the one we talked about before was like you put it, like there's like a little tongue control and yeah. you French kissed over the internet. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Uh-oh, we're going to get a this little one, uh, action here. This one's a little bit more wow. lip-based. Oh, that's kind of... So the, out, little... the outside of your mouth doesn't get violated, or the inside of your mouth doesn't get violated. Just uh, that, You know, that, that kiss started there. off as a little bit hot, went on a little too long. Yeah? I got to say, <laughs> just like pressing your lips that long, not hot. A little bit. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm not I'm not as thrilled about this. I think it needs to be square. I think all of these things need to be cube-like. Yeah, if this was cube-like... It'd be kind of cooler. It'd be cooler, much hotter. Uh-oh, things are getting weird now. So I, I think it... It uses, like, a little motor to vibrate the lips and... Translate that... Yeah. Particular length and and the fart sounds are great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, if, that's if there's something that says sexy, yeah. it's little flaps of skin that's, being blown by that a gas. That could just be uh, an issue of technique because I I kind of do that when I kiss. I go, do you? Oh. 
<laughs> you just raspberry your wife <laughs> oats <laughs> gently, romantically. Yeah, sure. Yeah. There's there's love behind that behind that that lip vibration. <laughs> mm. right. um, well, there's there, I'm sure there's alternate bit. uses for this device too. <laughs> yeah. right? Speaking of Woo. vibrating lips, All right. um, yeah. So this is not again. It's not on sale. It's another concept, but. This is a thing. This is officially now. This is a thing. This a is something thing. you can sell. You can buy. This is something they're selling. You can buy it. No. You can give it to someone. No. Oh, so you say not, so you're not saying. No, I just mean the this this idea of these little dedicated devices for communicating information across the internet right. into your home. Yeah. And interacting with it either by touch or through your lips or through a gumball or through a little printed sheet of adorable paper or something you're right I, I agree with you like it's the like concept it's almost, it should be a recurring segment on the show at this point because we're talking about <laughs> things like this every week yeah and i feel like that must mean something that must have some kind of meaning that we there's more and more devices out there that can do that kind of thing that can transmit this kind of physical information across the internet I th- maybe we're going in that direction i don't know you know i don't know but you know what i don't care because you shouldn't care glow specs are coming all you have to say was glow specs. Glow you specs. You didn't have to say are coming. Just say glow specs. We can end the show right there. This guy, He's right here, blow your mind. is coming. Is he? Oh, oh no, we're, we skipped one. Oh, sorry. Or I might, I, I, I threw you off because I might have had them in the wrong order. But what I want to talk about right now is glow specs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to see super cool dudes with uh, Van Dykes. There we with, go. Yes, this guy Gray Van is and bringing the future of illuminated sunglass technology. And his uh, 1960s spy jacket. I don't know. <laughs> it looks looks like he looks like a James Bond villain. It's a it's another Kickstarter project. Another thing that we should have a recurring segment theme on here: Kickstarter. Sure. You know. Yeah. Gadgets. Has he reached his goal yet? I think so. Yeah, he's saying these are these are already coming in April. Okay. He galloped past his ten thousand dollar funding goal. Awesome. Sunglasses. Uh, Way of the future. Well, what, they're, <laughs> what do these do? They're electroluminescent, so they'll uh, they'll project that cool looking neon glow outward. Right. So people would see you having these super cool light up glasses. And by cool but, you mean blue, right? You well, cool. they come in different colors. You could have your oh. logo on them. They're novelty mm. glasses. Yeah. They really so are. you can advertise. Yeah. If you want. I want them for my band. We, yeah. <laughs> really what made me excited <laughs> about this. Um but uh, the wearer doesn't see anything the, odd. Oh, they don't see. End. Okay, they're, they're, it's like a one-way, it's like a one-way mirror kind of thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I could probably. So pull, all you get to do on your side of the glasses and just off. enjoy all the turned-on looks by all the ladies around you, right? Looking at your super cool glow specs. <laughs> Twenty yeah. bucks. Twenty dollar yeah. pledge gets you some, so you know if you're if you're into the novelty <clears throat> eyewear thing, help this guy. Even out. if you're not, <laughs> <laughs> I I, I kind of want to see this. I, I kind of want to see people walking around with, you know, with these on. I feel like yeah, it seems so eighties to me. I, I yeah, <laughs> it's just like I kind of want to see eighties come back. So, well, remember the eighties guys? No, no, yes. Shame. Remember video games in the eighties? Remember Nintendo? Let's not fall down the, this hole. The NES. Come it's, on. It's Let's nothing, go on this nothing nostalgic. Good. Nothing good can come up. Reverend Hole. No, it just right. it, it ends with us hugging and crying. <laughs> well, that's how I they, wanted to end. Usually these podcasts every show kind of end, end that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, in that same vein of illuminated gadgetry, there yes. is this new light up cable concept for. Actually, this might actually be coming. Uh, Dexam is creating this visible green illuminated charging cable that uses electroluminescent wire, I believe, to be able to show you how much uh, when when your gadgets are charging. Oh the, wait, the draw of electricity that they're doing, and no then way. as the gadget fills up and this battery life is sufficient, it starts slowing down and then turns off automatically. So that's not a wait, but this is a simulation. That was not. This is not. This is not the yeah, cable itself. Yeah, but yeah. it's supposed to look this dope. So it's not done yet. I mean, what's they don't if they haven't finished it. Like, can they not show a real video of it? Because this, like the the way this concept, the con- the concept video is selling me. They're already. Pricing I am it. being sold. They're already pricing on it. this. You can get them in purple, dark blue, <laughs> light blue, or green. Seriously, I want this right now. Those are thirty five dollars. 
alone. Um, but if it doesn't look that cool, uh, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Assume, assume it looks that cool. I, I, why, why aren't they showing a real video then? I don't. That, that kind of. I don't know. Yeah, I hear. I, I hear you. I, I'm. I'm a little suspect. I hear you. Yeah. But. Uh, well, dubious. I hope it happens. I hope it happens too. We need, that looks... we need more cables awesome. helping us we trip do. out on a daily basis and distract us. Yes. We don't the have more, enough things around the house. The more distractions things. for me, the better. Let me but it's you. also supposed to be a measure for green energy conservation that you're not, you can see when your gadgets are drawing power when they're, you know, and also they can automatically shut off when. So this will automatically shut off. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. You don't good. need drawing power that you're not using. Right. It's like green. Except when you're in the future, Corning's vision of the future Vision, version, version of their vision. <laughs> version four of their vision. A glass-filled future from Corning. Uh, oh, yeah. I love these concept videos where they show you how, I love how... how indispensable their technology is going to be in the future. So is that supposed to be happening? Yeah, somehow their, their glass allows them to project holograms, holograms. into a room, but yeah. And into, their, uh, their glass, their architectural gla is glass a, here is is slowly uh, revealing the sunlight outside. So is that a electrochromatic glass? Why does that little girl own a tablet? And then, tablet. like the Samsung Vision, which we've already seen, you've got the the touchscreen window, right? Helping you. Yeah, yeah. What, this what, looks footwear. mad cool. Um, well, man, these are, this is a rich family right here. Like each little girl has their own tablet. Mm-hmm. And it's that same brand of tablet that doesn't actually need any components inside of it. It can just be a solid. <laughs> right. Glass. Exactly. Um. Oh yeah. They're playing that, their, their Bieber. Oh, Dad's so embarrassed. Oh, guys, don't hit me again, Dad. <laughs> I told you. After I killed your mom, you'd be next. <laughs> if you gave me any crap, <laughs> right? You remember that? <laughs> yes, Dad. We'll turn it off. All right. They're dimming the windows. <laughs> and their school all runs on a... Just uh, act like you're happy. Dow Corning-powered photovoltaic glass to help keep all those tablets charged up. <laughs> we really have to do something about Dad. Can we kill him? <laughs> In his sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll talk, talk about, about it later. later. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get this loser to kill him for us. Put a pin in this discussion. <laughs> All right, kids, we're going to learn about Chrome. <laughs> so, so, yeah, the dashboard, the desktop, everything is just glass everywhere making this happen. <laughs> it's a fragile future. What's this well, gorilla it's, glass? It's going to be a very smudgy future, but they're not <laughs> showing. Where all the teachers are as hot as her. And, and all the little boys look like that. Their teacher, <laughs> like huh? that kid's having the same salt and pepper fantasy right <laughs> there that you were discussing earlier. I'm pretty sure he is. <laughs> all those little boys are like in tripping. They are tripping out. Well, if you saw this happen in front of you, oh, I think if you'd... I mean if that that was my teacher, that's all you need to say. Like, no, I just mean the technology. I don't so care about the technology because no. they're used to that by now. They're, they're jaded. All these kids are jaded. <laughs> they don't care about this. They're just doing this because, you know, the girls are doing this just to be social. What boys are doing that because the teacher is so hot. They want to please the teacher. Well, you know, it's because she was able to get dressed in the morning using Dow technology uh, or Corning technology uh, to help her pick out her outfit. That's probably yeah. maximizing her teacher. Yeah, hotness. it's good that she had that to help her pick out her outfit at the school with the <laughs> uniforms. <laughs> like, it's, like, at least she didn't have to spend that much time doing I, that. Our... our See, our hospitals of the future are all made out of antimicrobial glass. So I'm guessing that this is a doctor in some other country he's talking to. I don't know. Not on the other side of that wall. <laughs> that, would, <laughs> that would seem a little bit counterproductive. Hey, what are you guys doing in there? I'm waiting. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. His brain is now this big. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong, that's sir. A problem. <laughs> hmm. Let me think about that for a second. Which, which leg are we amputating today? I don't know. Let me... You guys said I only have to be here for a couple of minutes. We've been here for hours. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see my family. We're going to press in between two pieces of glass now. <laughs> We're going to teleport you in this experiment. Hmm. 
This neck wow. smells nice. I don't know how the glass is doing that, but. Hmm. I think they're going to make him into Stay a green very still. Wow. That was the easiest brain surgery I've ever seen. And it's out. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> You've been given a lobotomy. I think that was a two-finger gesture. I think that was how it was. <laughs> multi-finger gesture. Oh, is that the guy with the, with the day glow glasses, whatever? <laughs> I think it might be that same guy. Uh... See, screw genetic engineering. We, glass can make Jurassic Park. Yeah, happen. CG will be so cheap in the future that poop. anyone can do it. Oh, it's not poop. No. Uh, I think it's someone's lungs, so. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I think they're on Ninja Warrior now. They have to press that button to make sure. Ooh. What? Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Even in the future, CG animation will be really Oh, what bad. an adorable dinosaur. <laughs> He's fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh -oh. Wait, is Dad out here? There he is! Dad's become a Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's going to kill us. God. I hope De Corny can provide the glass diaper after that <laughs> particular scare session. Is that the mom? I thought the mom was dead. We established what? this. Oh, he works during the day. Or, wait, what? Where was she in the morning? Maybe it was the two different kids. I don't know. Yeah, let's spend the rest of this podcast trying to figure out the exact family dynamic here. Yeah. Oh, this is the same little girl because she's back in the bed, right? No, I think this is a different girl. Oh, is it? All right. Yeah. Oh, God. The future is going to be so amazing. So the future is going to be lonely for parents as they're all single parents is what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> they're all glass is what separates them. Corning. I like that. Corning glass. I like that. That's good. Yeah. Poignant. Yeah. Even. Not really. Smudges. <laughs> Smudgy. So that's the future. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, I'll support that. What else do we have to talk about, Eric? Maybe a segment called... Yeah! Meanwhile, at the Hall of Doom... I like that. I like I like that you kind of will it into um, will the beginning of that segment into being with your mind. You just kind of. <laughs> I think it'll go something like this. It's better than me like trying to romance it out with my my dance skills. <laughs> right. Well, that's not your dance skills. No. This yeah. is your dance skills. Uh, right. No, I'm working on it. That's oh, okay. Like, All right. If I really, if it was, yeah. if it was on me to, to to make that happen, I couldn't. What yeah, I'm saying. you could have. Better I use my willpower. Yes. And speaking of making it happen, uh, the Avengers make it happen. Not Donald. Yeah. They will make it happen. The Avengers is a team of very powerful beings that are more powerful, better looking mm -hmm. uh, than you or I will ever be. And there's a movie coming out. If you haven't heard about this, have you guys heard about this? This Avengers movie? Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. Yeah. There's a new trailer out. They played a Super Bowl trailer, 30 seconds. It was good. But I was like, oh, this thing is missing something. Yeah. Then I glow specs. Yes, glow specs. Where are the glow specs? <laughs> Someone should be wearing glow specs. But no, there was no glow specs. But there was a a one minute version of that trailer that was released on YouTube, and we're gonna play that. All right. Right now. I want to see this. The world has changed. At this point, I doubt anything would surprise me. We are hopelessly outgunned. Captain, it's time. I still believe in heroes. The Avengers. That's what we call ourselves. Earth's mightiest heroes type thing. I have an army. We have a Hulk. I'm sitting over here. I, I may need a new... <laughs> I need me to change my pants. The glass diaper? <laughs> yeah, I need, yeah, I need the glass diaper right now. I've seen that trailer like 50 times already. And I'm just watching it. Just... 
I still get as, as excited. I still get as, as, as excited the first time. I, I actually was noticing myself when watching the trailer for the first time. I was, I was paying attention to myself and how I was reacting. Mm -hmm. Be the most embarrassing thing in the world if you were filming that. <laughs> yes, I was literally doing that, and I was putting my hand over my mouth, I'm like, <laughs> like oh my, like, like a little kid. I, was, I'm such a little kid when it comes to this kind of stuff. I just revert back to that, <laughs> to that kind of emotional state when I'm watching this stuff because it's, it's so exciting and it looks like it's done so well. Yeah, I don't know. I know you're not as no, excited. No, I'm about excited. It. I'm excited. For I know you. you're not as excited about it, but. What a couple of things that I really like about that trailer uh, that they point out. Well, first of all, it features like the best shot of Hawkeye we've seen so far when he's like falling out of something. Also, I noticed there's like a girl with like bunny ears running through that that first shot. Bunny. Like, oh, oh running away from the there's explosion. a girl on like, the right. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that too. Like, yeah, you're right. Um, she's right. Oh no, you missed it already. Yeah. Um. Right. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard. It's it's kind of. I think the stream is kind of yeah. framey. It's kind of hard Don't to pinpoint it. it. But um, right, yeah, right. It looks like she has bunny ears, but yeah. I bet she. I, she does. No? I don't think this is attached to her head. No. But it could if be. She, if she's not in this. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That is it. Whatever that is attached. To her. <laughs> she, I don't know if she's gonna be a featured player. Is she one of the Avengers? No. I probably not. No. No, I don't remember any Avengers with bunny ears that in their hands. Awesome. Bunny no, powers. That would, no, that would not be awesome. Yeah. The power of the bunny! Supersonic hearing and ability to Bunnies breathe don't have quickly. Super, supersonic hearing? I don't know. What's <laughs> the power of the bunny? Well, Cyclops doesn't have laser eyes or whatever other. I don't know. Yeah, but he has one eye. See? Yeah, well, bunnies have big friggin' ears. She can run fast. There you go. <laughs> She's quick. <laughs> she can hop around. Um. Yeah, so uh, what, like I uh, said, it has a first great shot of Hawkeye. Yeah. It also, um, I, m the way that movie plays out to me, mm -hmm. and this is probably pretty predictable. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, and if you notice, he has a kind of a grappling hook arrow right now because he's falling out of something. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I've looked at this a few times. <laughs> <laughs> the way that movie plays out for me is, you know, Nick Fury gets all these guys together and they're all full of egos and whatever and they're all f like i don't want to work with this guy or you're not anything like your father mr stark you know all this kind of stuff and they all f and then they have this have this big fight and they all fight and it's awesome and they're just kicking each other's asses and stuff but then you know there's something that happens something something like it's, oh, it's gonna be all fun and stuff but then something serious is gonna happen josh wheaton loves to do that kind of stuff he loves to throw you like the oh this is fun oh i'm you know i'm a leaf on the wind and then two minutes later you're dead. You know, it's like, um, he loves to do that kind of stuff. And I, I bet that's going to happen. They're all going to band together yeah. and they're actually going to fight as a team for the first time. And you're going to see that one shot, that one hero shot, the money shot, when the camera goes around them. That's going to be their first time where they're like, all right, we're, we just did something and we're, you know, we're going to come together as a team and now we're going to take down take these guys down and they're going to do something and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, well, I think like you were saying about the, uh, the, the hot <laughs> teacher's effect on the students, I think when they realize that Scarlett Johansson's involved in the movie, they'll probably all bond together over that. You think so? Yeah. You're saying the students or the Avengers? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's, like, let's just stop fighting and I'll appreciate that Scarlett Johansson is here with us. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. I can appreciate that. What else we have? What else I can appreciate? Oh, the other thing I can appreciate, Donald, is The Amazing Spider-Man. Mm. Um, I wasn't very excited about this movie. Actually, I kind of forgot it was coming out. It's coming out July 3rd. Um, until I saw this trailer. This trailer really has me excited. I'm just going to go to it. We can talk about it later if we want. But let's just play the trailer. It's kind of long, so let's get that going. <laughs> the same opening shot. <laughs> How did you get out there? Fire escape. It's 20 stories. Your doorman's intimidating. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Parker. Not much to tell, really. Peter lives with his aunt and uncle. Did you catch that spider guy yet? No, but we will. This guy wears a mask like an outlaw. I think he's trying to do something maybe the police can't. Can't? <laughs> <clears throat> you know, if you're going to steal cars, don't dress like a car thief. You a cop? You seriously think I'm a cop? In a skin tie, red and blue suit. Who are you? I know it's been rough for you, Peter. <laughs> I forgot all about that thing. It was your dad's. You 
father was a very secretive man, Peter. Dr. Connors, I'm Richard Parker's son. Your father and I were gonna change the lives of millions, including mine. Extraordinary. How did you come up with this? There's a rumor of a new species in New York. It can be aggressive if threatened. stop him because I created him. That's not your job. Maybe it is. Thirty-eight of New York's finest versus one guy in a unitard. Woo! If you want the truth, Peter, come and get it. I am issuing an arrest warrant for the masked vigilante known as Spider-Man. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'll see that. Here's the thing, though. Like, uh, yeah, I, I want you to talk. Okay. <clears throat> it feels like it's trying really hard to be Batman. You know, as far as it being, like, darker and... Oh, like, like, more, like mm. Nolan back Batman. You mean, like, Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Like, Batman Begins, Dark, the Dark yeah, Knight. Yeah, yeah. Kind of kind of establish that kind of tone for a new re- Spider-Man reboot. And doesn't have the kind of Raimi whimsy that was... Like prevalent in the last couple of films. I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of. Well, you like don't know. Right? I still want to see that, <clears throat> yeah. but it, it also like all of, like the, the. Is it that the, the, the power, the power structure, the police power structure of, of Gotham, like <laughs> right, you know, yeah. like being both for Batman, but then against him, and then like sure, and the. But I feel like those those are those are going to be universal themes if you really tackle a superhero story realistically. Yeah, those are going to be. You know the, those kind of plot points, those kind of themes are going are, be the, yeah. are kind of intrinsic to that kind of that genre. If I I feel like you know what is the police? What do the, what do the police think about this? What um, you know, do they like them? Do they not like them? Well, they're, they're right. kind of. And when you, you know, when you break away from that, you get Thor. Right, right. <laughs> like, Which is like, let's take the Rainbow Bridge over to like the right exactly dimension. exactly yeah <laughs> yeah and. Yeah, even in Thor, there's a little bit of that with the Shield agents. Right, you know, right. it's like it's kind of hard to to separate a superhero story from that kind of thing. Like he's a law enforcer, but he's taking the law into his own hands. How do we handle that? You know, yeah. so I guess Superman's the only movie that's never really tackled that. They didn't really go into like. I guess in the, in the Spider the Superman, what is the Spider Man still is going for it though? Is that it's like the most underdog character. Right? Well, yeah, that character has always been. He's a nerd. He's a nerdy kid that yeah. gets these superpowers, but he's still a nerd. You know. But you know now he's a super strong and agile and nerd. And what I really like about this this new movie is that they're they're going back to the original mechanical web shooters. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I know I'm sounding really fanboyish right now, but <laughs> in the movies they went with organic web shooters, which at the time I don't know if you guys remember this big big stink you know was made about like from fanboys just why are they going to your it didn't bother me that much but i really do like that they're going back to the mechanical web web shooters it it kind of adds a little bit to his character and his his um just um his intelligence his intellect because i didn't really i didn't feel like they really were able to convey that really well in the uh the other spider-man movies like how smart he is what do you think about this though i remember this is a this is opening up an old it's it's kind of like a a new thing to me but i think it's it's an older issue that come up it's like uh, Donald Glover had that campaign for a while. Sure. About him being possibly being, being, being Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. Like I see that. I think, man, that actually would have been really cool. Yeah. Well, as like some other way to make to give a new dimension to like these characters. Yeah. Sure. Um, but I, really, I know it breaks away from the actual tr- like traditional Spider-Man story. Sure. Um, Peter Parker in the comic has has always been portrayed as you know a white guy. Um, and I really like Andrew Garfield, the guy who's playing him in this. He was in the Social Network, and he's really great in that. So oh, that's where he's from. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I really, I really, I think that kid is a really good actor. Um, and recently, they kind of so spoiler spoilers. If you haven't read the Ultimate Spider-Man mm-hmm. comic book, I haven't. Okay, well, spoiler spoilers. Peter Parker dies 
and in the Ultimate Universe, when someone dies, they're dead. Mm. So he died, and this other kid, who's half uh, Latino and half uh, black, has taken over as Spider Man. Um, I think it's in Miles Mora- Morales, so he has that alliterative name, just like Peter Parker. Um, but he's, he, I mean, he looks, he's a, he's a kid of color, mm-hmm. you know, and he's Spider-Man now. So it's, there's a lot of controversy behind it and it's a lot of support at the same time and people like to see it. So I think we're coming closer to seeing that kind of thing where you can have a different take on a character, despite, you know, it, not taking into account necessarily his race, but because Spider-Man is more than just a white guy in a suit. He's, he's, he's kind of symbolic, right? He's, when he puts that mask on, that's why so many people relate to him because when he puts that mask on, it's like Master Chief. In Halo, mm-hmm. no one can see who he is when he has a mask on. No one can see his color. He mask off for a little bit in that. Too, he was. Yeah. He gets. He gets demasked in that at some point. But, but yeah, I. I so yeah, I that's, a, that's the new. I appreciate spot. that compared to, to a Batman where you just like it's also maybe some rich. So yeah, there he is. Yeah, it's, anyway, it's and it's some rich, you know, waspy dude. Yeah. It's Gavin Newsom. It's Batman. <laughs> <Right>. You know, <laughs> it's basically. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so I yeah I, I agree with you. I, I would have liked to have seen that. I think there's the chances of that happening are higher now hmm. that they're establishing that they're establishing now that they can do something different with the Spider-Man character. Yeah, you know, someone else could be him. So anyway, I'll see trailer movie. looks good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So and that's all I have this week. That's all we have. All, all right, right, cool. It's done. All right, we're done with we're this. We're done. Stick a fork in it. If you want to contact us, you can do that at crave@cnet.com. Yeah, we, It's been a while since we've gotten any kind of contact from we're the outside also, world. We're also on the Twitter. Yep, we got that. You, you can do that. If you want to If you want to rant and rave about a review or a story we've no. done. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. You don't want to do that. We get enough of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, enough and you that. can find the stories we'll be talking about next week on our Crave blog right there without yeah. me hitting the microphone this yeah. time. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye.